go ahead go ahead and continue now we're going to be moving on so toddy i'm going to swing this to you last please save the facial expressions let's get to the first three guys the applause <laughs> and, and we'll get going so john i'm gonna swing it to you first factor cap luke and Kyrie are the best duo in the nba finals this is cap because uh if i recall and i could be wrong as i was with the Kyrie stats earlier so granted i could be wrong here but if i recall Kyrie irving despite making it to one two three now four nba finals has he won a conference uh finals mvp yet has has Kyrie irving yeah won a the word didn't exist finals? but I, I love i like where this is going john <laughs> so as long so, as we can use this in the lebron goat debate i'm all in <laughs> in MVP, I'm with all that shit. Well, I hope I got like ten. Well, uh, all I'm saying is, is that Jason Tatum won the Eastern Conference Finals MVP in 2022. Jalen Brown won it in 2024. Obviously, Luka Doncic won it in the West this year. But Kyrie, okay, whether if it was existent, it, whether if it existed or not. Kyrie hasn't done it yet. Kyrie also didn't win NBA Finals MVP, the one championship that he has won. There's no so, way he won it. No, if there is no that, way. If you get an all-star MVP. Kyrie would have had to average 60. <laughs> well, he was – I mean, he was right, especially in that game five. It was like 41 and Got 44 or whatever. Um, but anyways, Counting. just to keep this brief on my end, um, because I do have one more segment for after this, this is Cap. Uh, Luka and Kyrie Irving are not – the best duo in the NBA Finals because it's clearly Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown who are going to get theirs, Gary. They're going to get theirs, Kevin. This time. All right, Gary. Well, look at, well, look at Sean. I'm fully hopping on the Celtics bandwagon. Vaughn, you got somebody. You guys Fact. gave me no choice. You gave me no choice. Sorry, Kevin. Go ahead. All right, all all right Gary. Factor cap. Luke and Kyrie are the best duo in the NBA Finals. Ah, this is tough. It depends how you're looking upon it. If you're looking upon it as uh, – uh, everything encompassed. I'm gonna have to say uh, cap if I'm gonna say everything encompassed. But I'm just gonna take it like you said in the NBA final. I ain't talking about defensively. I, I'm not talking about what they're gonna going forward. Who you want going forward? You obviously the younger and all that whole stuff. Experience the NBA finals. This run they're on right now. I want Luca and Kyrie. Fact, I feel like they're the best duo in the NBA finals. Just for the pure fact, as I said. The run they're on, the hot streak they're on, the way they're both playing off each other, they know exactly what each other need. Um, they both are carrying the load when needed. Uh, when closing time calls, they know who's hot. They know Kyrie knows when they need a little push from him, him to push the button. When Luca needs to know him, him to push the button. So I'm not saying Jason Tatum and uh, Jalen Brown don't because, you know, they're they're two. This is really this they picking, really, to be honest with you. And obviously, I'm really demolish leaning because I picked Dallas. So I don't think that I'm really, I think their duo is going to average more points. And I, that's why I think they're going to win. So, in terms of points, in terms of clutchness, in terms of uh, rising to the moment, in terms of experience, maybe in terms of basketball IQ, all these little things, they beat this, uh, they beat the Tatum and Brown match slightly, just slightly. I feel like, and yeah, I think that's that's why I got Luke and Kyrie as the best duo in this NBA Finals. But I wouldn't, you know, like I just said, slightly. You know, I wouldn't say it's by landslide or anything like that because the other two guys deserve their credit. I know we're just bantering and messing around, talking a lot of smack right now because it's that time of the year. But that team got two hit pit bulls in their team, and Jalen Brown has been proving that you know he could be a number one guy himself, maybe especially because the money he got paid, and he's proven that he deserves every penny of it. So. Uh, I got Luke and Kyrie being the best duo in this NBA Finals, and I got them in Game Six. So we are one to one. I'm assuming all four of us. I speak for the the, the three of us that we all know Todd is going to go with the Celtics. So inevitably, we'll be two to one, and I am the tiebreaker. So factor cap: Luke and Kyrie are the best duo in the NBA Finals. This is a hard cap. This is a hard hitting fact because one, Luke is the best player in the Finals. Yep, and. Let me give you the numbers throughout the playoffs. Jason Tatum, 26 points, 10 rebounds. Jalen Brown, 25, 6 rebounds. We have Luka Doncic with 34, 9, and 9. And you have Kyrie at 24, 5, and 5, or 25, 5, and 5. So this is called stats over politics. I'm not just hating because Toddy is a Celtics fan. This is the best duo. This is the best offensive. This is the best duo in the NBA Finals. 
I don't want to be too long winded because I know Toddy's got to come on here and I, I see it in his face. I try. I told him to hold the facial expression. So if you guys are watching this on YouTube, you'll see he's been he's been itching. He's been itching. So I'm going to swing it over to him next, but this is for sure a fact. I think Luca and Kyrie are the best doing the NBA Finals. Before I swing it over to you, what we got to push out, Gary? I was going to say, just in terms of point value, too, real quick, Vaughn. Desist wise, Luca's getting 10 himself, and you know, Brown and Tatum ain't getting 10 assists. Hell no. Not the disrespect. That ain't their game that much. Like, they're going to get assists, don't get me wrong, but they're not getting an easy 10 like Luca's about to get. So I just bumps up the scoring if you want to count overall, overall scoring production. He's going to create. But go ahead. All right, Tony. Fa- should I just say cap or cap, I guess? <laughs> Factor cap. Luca and Kyrie are the best duo in the NBA Finals. Uh, yeah, this is a cap. Uh, I'm going all around. Um, I think Kyrie and Luca are offensively like one of the best duos ever. Like offense from an offensive standpoint, uh, Luca is you know a lot of people. I mean, we've seen we've heard uh, Jason Kidd compare him to Michael Jordan. Kyrie is come is up there. Obviously, Kyrie. I don't know if it's a secret or not, but Kyrie Irving is obviously my favorite basketball player in the NBA. Um, so it's like painting me to say this um, just because Kyrie Irving is offensively one of the best basketball players ever. Like he's in that, I believe he's an NBA top 75 best Easily. basketball player ever. Should have been. Um, so I'm looking at it from a standpoint of the two Jays um, who averaged uh, close to 30 in, in the last series. Um, from a defensive standpoint, being able to pick up uh, big defensive st- uh, assignments. Um, from a rebounding standpoint, uh, Jason Tatum is one of the best rebounders in the NBA. Um, from a scoring standpoint as well. So I'm looking at from a to- in a totality standpoint, um, offensively, defensively, rebounding. Um, I think it's the Jays. Um, their success um, at the age that they're at as a duo um, is is slim to none to compared to a bunch of other duos um, in NBA history. So um, I think there's really no other way to look at it. I get um, Luca. What Luca and Kyrie have been able to do in a short span of time has been um, remarkable. Um, I think we all kind of knew what they could be um, from how gifted they were from an offensive standpoint, and when they were you know paired together, I believe it was um, almost. Two years ago, um, at the trade deadline, we wanted them to be what they are now. Um, and I always go back to my oven theory. I think I said it um, on last week's pod that you kind of had to let it bake in the oven a little bit, and you know, let these guys get a full off season together and kind of gel. Um, and even in uh, you know late this season, they weren't one of the best teams in the league. They were kind of hovering in that six, seven, eight range spot as a lot of. Western Conference teams were as how competitive the West it has been over the last couple of years. And then they kind of just caught fire in the playoffs and they've shown to be one of the, the most offensively skilled duos that we've ever seen. Um, but as a, in a totality standpoint, um, the success that the two J's have, have had at this um, young age that they have it, that they, that they have had it at. And, you know, the experience, the scoring, the defense, um, the passing. I'm just looking at it from a totality standpoint. I, th- I do agree with Kevin that Luka Doncic is the best player in the series, um, but I do believe that the Celtics have the best duo. So I'm going to say that this is a cap. Um, Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving are not the best duo in the NBA Finals. All right. Well, that, does it. that does it for.